my lovers welcome to my channel my name is made for love and i thank you for tuning in to me again okay i'm using different music today <laughs> it just popped up on my screen and i have to play it so yes it's a it's like a waterfall running so i hope you guys don't feel to pee <laughs> when you open this video <laughs> um I have, I have a message um slightly intimidated by the message because they want me to use this wisdom of the oracle deck to begin this message i don't even know how that is going to work so i am just trusting never done that before to begin this message so <laughs> really trusting really trusting here um before we go into tonight um this is um so this is the 16th is today the 16th i think it's the 16th yeah okay that was going crazy so tonight the 16th at 11 11 p.m eastern time and that will be 10 11 p.m central time and that will be i think 6 p.m gmt time um, we're going to have, I told you guys about it, our um, love circle of light. So the last time we did a healing session, that's for ourselves. Um, this time it's going to be like a healing session for the world. Because I believe that all of us, and this is not just for twins, for all of us. Yes, twins have a special purpose in all of this. But for all of us, we are responsible for shining that divine light out to the world. Um, in whichever space that we are in. So tonight, we're all going to come together in our love circle and continent by continent. Um, we're just going to set an intention that people remember um, their own divinity and remember their mission, all of them, to love and to shine light. Okay? That is going to be our intention. We're going to do that for 11 minutes and then I am going to um, give the live readings until 12.12. 12. All right, guys? All right, so there's that. Um what else it's supposed to be a joint session with divinely intuitive um she's a more techie person but then we realized that she can um start live streams yet because she that's not been unlocked for her and then it was left to me to kind of figure it out and i'm not the most techie person so i'm hoping that i can figure it out today and we can see what happened if not it's just going to be me all right um yeah, so let's get into our reading. I am so trepidatious. How is this going to work? What do they want to tell me here? Why do they want me to do this deck? I don't know. I don't know, but I better catch on fast. <laughs> so I can deliver this message to you. I know I'm going to get messages from the person's higher self. I know that. Or maybe this is just a message for you. You know what, by the time the first card pops out, I think I'm going to know what to do. But right now, I just have to trust. When we talk about taking steps in the dark, <laughs> this is what I'm doing here. Okay, so we have angel number 4-4. Four, four. Somebody is thinking about setting film foundations. Could be you, could be them. This is what is coming to the forefront right now. They're thinking hard about life. But they're being guided by spirit in this. They're not alone. They're being guided by spirit in this. There's some kind of major life change that's going to disrupt their foundation. Weirdly enough, I don't know how I'm getting this, but this looks like, you know, like baby clothes. You know, the onesies. <laughs> Why am I thinking of that? So maybe they're thinking about having babies. I don't know. This is what I'm getting. Right? So it could, be, it could be you or them. There's a major decision that they have to make and it's going to affect the foundation of their life. All right, let's see. I'm trusting. They want you to know that you are blessed. 
you and your partner are blessed. This union is blessed. And I know this union is blessed because we have two, two. So it means then that both of you have now mastered yourself because I'm seeing a lot of purple. You, both of you have mastered yourself and recognize your divinity. And they want to know, spirit wants to know that this union is blessed. You don't have to worry about it. It is divinely blessed and protected by the universe and by the angels. I'm getting the true chills, so I know I've started to deliver their message. So this might not be particularly a message from your person. This is a message from spirit. Yes, they're telling me yes. I thought it was a message from your person. It's a message from spirit. I'll still give you a message from your person. But this is a message from spirit. Spirit, you should have told me also to put my mic on. <laughs> they're saying that's my responsibility. <laughs> What I want you to know is that spirit has intervened. Mm -mm -mm. You were not doing well on your own. So spirit had to intervene and get up here. <laughs> we have 34, which reduces to 7. So spirit is going to give your relationship or you a leg up, a little help in hand. Because you know what? We've been screwing up. They've tried to pull this relationship. They've tried to allow us to pull this relationship together. But mm -mm. no. We've been screwing up, we've been living in fear, we've not been taking the right steps. So you know what? Spirit is coming in to give your relationship and you a little assistance. This is not a message from your person today. I'll still give you a message from your person, but this is not a message for you. This is a message for you. Um, they want you to know. Okay, so this is what? Uh, that's another four, isn't it? 49 reduces to four. Yes. You know what? They want you to know that they've been observing your foundation. They've been observing your foundation right now. And they recognize that there's changes that you need to make. You are in the here and now. You are in the here and now. This five is all about change. You are in the here and now. And there's a path you can take. You can either start looking at the past and see what went wrong. Or you look towards the future and the change that's supposed to come. You are here. You are here. And I think they're saying spirit is here. So it's a reminder, yes, to live in the here and now. But you can need you have a choice. You can either look at the past and all the things that went wrong, or you can look ahead. Oh, wow. Spirit is saying that major changes are going to come into your life. That's going to require you to be flexible. This is 19. 19 what? 19 reduces to 1. Yeah, 19 reduces to 1. So we are talking about... Now 19 reduces to 10 and then it reduces to 1. So we're talking about there are cycles that are going to be um, closing out. And there's going to be new beginnings. You see, look at that. Look at the new beginning sprouted from a back. So that's a, a new foundation because backs are about foundation. Remember we say your back is broad, it can take stuff. So there's a new foundation being built, new backbone being built or being put into your relationship. And this is going to require you to be flexible because there's something new that is going to be birthed. Things are coming into alignment. This abundance that you've been waiting for is coming into alignment here. And they are going to require you to be flexible in order to accept these changes. Mm -mm. Spirit delivering a powerful message today. <clears throat> They're saying get ready because you are about to embark on a new life. This reduces to 3. 39 reduces to 3, does it not? Yes, it does. It reduces to 3. So that is all about collaboration and working together with someone. You have been cracked open from the shell from this cocoon or it could be this is your person and you are now resting on the firm foundation of the divine and what they have cra they are crafting for you right now is a totally new life this time next year you are not going to be re able to recognize your life you are about to embark on a totally new journey so this is why remember I delivered that message to you guys that negative energies are being purged in order for things to be healed this is exactly what is happening. Things are being healed because you are about to embark on a totally new life. 
Because you are a totally new person, and a totally new person deserves a totally new life. Spirit has intervened. Your hard work, oh yes, your hard work is being rewarded. You have been faithful. Your hard work is being rewarded. You have stayed the course, no matter how tough it was, you have stayed the course. And Spirit is saying that there's a new life that's coming into you. It might be with your old person, or it might be with a new person, but they want you to run into it with an open heart. You see how our chest is open and vulnerable? Run into our open heart, knowing, see all the purple, that you are divinely protected and guided always. Whatever may be, whatever may come, whatever may come, whether it's with your twin, then with your twin, whatever it is, or it's with your soulmate, or not with your soulmate, whatever may come. And I think, though, it is with your higher, higher level soulmate or your twin, because bam, here we have the 11. What they're trying to tell you to do, what they're trying to tell you right now, is that the finish line is almost there. You are there. You are almost there at the finish line. All you have to do right now, don't give up. Go the distance. They're asking you to go the distance. It may feel like it's barren. You may feel unsupported. You may feel like you're in the wilderness, that you've been abandoned. But they're telling you that the finish line is almost there and you need to go the distance. <clears throat> I'm going to take three more cards. I know this week has been rough and tough. Oh, yeah. But they're telling you, you need to go the distance. Because this land of milk and honey and opportunity, there's a six. <clears throat> so that's moving on into the light is about to open for you. Total abundance brought by the divine is about to open for you. You are not going to recognize your life this time next year. You're not. Two more cards. You're not going to recognize your life. Go the distance. You are almost at the finish line. <laughs> this is a message about love. And it's a message about soulmates. Because twen penguins made for life, don't they? They're made for life because they know... That love is the answer. Love is the key. Love is the key. They made for life. You see how protective he's being? He's come to speak his truth. He's come to speak his truth. Look at the blue there. He's coming to speak his truth. And there he divinely guided and supported. Look at there. Look at the face in the clouds. Divinely guided and supported. This is about soulmates. One more card. This message is about your soulmate. So it's about your life, but it is also about your love around. It's about your love around. And they want you to know that you're going to get strong support from the divine because it's now in the hands of fate. Everything that is going to happen from here on out is being orchestrated by fate. Every challenge that you're going to face is being orchestrated by fate. They're giving me a day or a date or a month of September. Everything from here till September orchestrated by fate. It's in the hands of fate. It is not in your hands. It is not in your partner's hands. This is in the hands of fate. It's written in the stars. Let me get a message now. From your love. And the higher self. Remember we said that this is a message from soulmates. cards because what you're going to be required to do from here till September is to have spiritual strength. You have to be strong. 
There are going to be some crazy things happening. You might lose faith, but you have to be strong. Your person knows. Why did I say your person knows? Your person knows who you are. <laughs> your person knows who you are. They want you to know that they're sorry. They want you to know that they want your forgiveness. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I just had so much doubts about myself. I was just living in pain. I don't think you understand how unloved and how unlovable that I have felt for such a very long time. You may not know it, but this distance between us is killing me. And it has taken me a lot of strength in order to stay away and to stay apart from you. But I'm awake. I'm awake and I'm aware. I recognize that what I just went through, I was under divine judgment for my actions. But I'm awake now. I understand what happened in our relationship. I was a prisoner. I was a prisoner of my own thoughts. I was a prisoner of my own karma. I was a prisoner of my own deeds. Yes, I know that there are secrets between us. But in time, I am going to come and tell you everything. I'm going to tell you all because I recognize that this has been a journey to transcend darkness into light. And it's been a journey well worth it. They tell me take 11 cards. It's a journey well worth it. I am not ready for what you have to offer. But I know that it's a soul connection. Know that I've been getting the synchronicities. I've been getting the synchronicities. I've been hounded by them, but I'm being divinely guided. I recognize that now. I'm being divinely guided towards you. I thought there were many or oh, plenty more fish in the sea, but now I recognize uh, it's only you. There's only one. It's only you. Guys, we have about three elevens out here. I'm sure that's what I counted. Okay, that's not. Oh no. Sorry, it's just 11 11. Sorry. 11 11. So this may be a special message for Twin Flames. But whoever is guided to watch this video, this is for you. They're being guided towards you by spirit. Okay. This is what you need to know. You guys are indeed soulmates. It is a soul connection. But from here on out, you have no control. It is all in the hands of fate. There is no control here. These are fated events. There's, there's fate, then there's destiny. Destiny is how we react to what the fated events. But right now, everything that is happening, it's fated events. We have no control over them. Okay? So that was your message. Don't forget to join me tonight, 16th, as we do our love circle of light and shine our light to the world, okay? This little light of mine, you have to let it shine, right? Cool. All right, guys. Bye and take care. And I hope my message of love helped you.